Hello and welcome to your monthly taroscopes with me, Intuitive Renee. We are looking at October 2021. I can't quite wrap my head around that, but welcome. These are your taroscopes for the month ahead. Taroscopes are released every single month on the last Friday of the month to give you insight, inspiration and guidance for the month ahead. The videos will remain available to you throughout the month of October and even after that. So if you ever need to come back and watch again, you certainly can do so. Taroscopes, I have put them together to help you with insight, with guidance, with inspiration, looking at various or a few areas of life that I feel is relevant and appropriate for every one of us. So just a little bit of insight into the energies around what you can expect on emotions, what you can expect around finances and what you can expect around your health, as well as giving you an overall kind of theme for the month ahead. And also just before we finish off, I like to give a little bit of information as to what to watch out for and, and what to embrace, what to accept into your life during the month as well. Um, I've, I've had so many people say to me over the last couple of months when they've watched the Terrascopes that they've come back to it sort of closer to the end of the month or partway through the month, just as a reminder, just to sort of check. And there's so much that is applicable and appropriate. And I'm always a little bit, uh, a little bit blown away as to how, how relevant it can be for so many different people. I also, when I set up and start recording these videos, I do set the intention that it be applicable to your sun sign, which is your standard zodiac that we're all aware of, your moon sign and your rising sign. So if you know what your moon sign is, if you know what your rising sign is, you can watch those videos as well, which will help you to have a little bit more information into you, what you're dealing with and what you're going through. All I ask in return, if you do enjoy the content, all I ask is that you click that subscribe button over there. <laughs> click the subscribe button. And then if you click the little bell next to it, basically what happens is you will then receive a notification every single time I upload a video. At the moment, my upload schedule is a daily tarot reading, seven days a week, Monday to Sunday. Um, actually, I'm lying to you, that's Monday to Saturday, <laughs> because on Sundays, I like to do Oracle Sundays. So Oracle Sundays, we, we do a little bit more of an in-depth reading. We give a little bit more guidance into the Sunday and into the week coming up. So you can almost look at it as a week ahead kind of forecast energetically and then during the week we'll have just a straightforward tarot reading to give guidance for the day and then every friday we'll have something interesting normally it's a pick a card normally it's a pick a card kind of reading um and the last friday or friday of the month will be taroscopes and there may be one or two little other things that might crop in over the next uh, month as well so do be sure to click that subscribe button um and click the bell so that you don't miss anything. And of course, if you want more from me, <laughs> there's always more. <laughs> now I sound like I'm an advert and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to sell myself to you. But if you want more, if you would like to have personal reading with me once a week, do consider joining my YouTube channel members. So just once you've clicked subscribe, just beneath over there, you will find, um, once you've clicked subscribe, you will find a button that says join. And when you join there on the second or the third tier, every single Wednesday evening, South African time, 7 p.m., I do live readings where you get to ask questions and you get to get instant answers from me. The channel is growing so nicely. I have so many members already and I, I just, I love it. It is just, we have so much fun on a Wednesday evening. Um, it's so interactive. It's so fun. And I know that everybody who's part of the club just can't wait for Wednesdays to come along. So let me stop babbling now. I'm finished with my sales pitch. <laughs> Let's get into your taroscopes because that is, of course, exactly why you are here and what you are looking for. So we're going to get started and I do hope that you enjoy. Right, so Aquarius, we are going to look at your month of October 2021 and see what's in store for you. You can see that I have shuffled and laid out some cards. But we're going to start with this one over here, which is going to give you your theme for the month of October. So the overall theme, and then we will get into these cards over here. So what does the month of October have in store for you, Aquarius? We have got Creator Alchemy. Creator Alchemy. You know, I, I do think that's quite fabulous, because what is alchemy? Alchemy is taking 
obscure ingredients, putting them together and creating something quite fabulous. All right. Alchemy is the ability to create or to manifest something which you desire. Creator alchemy means that you have the ability to do this. So it means that you are in control, you are in the driver's seat, and you have the ability to manifest and to create anything that your heart des desires. How fabulous is that indeed? You know, it also means that you have to recognize the things that you have to put in to your situation, to your circumstances, to your life in order to take out or to achieve something that you've set your mind on. But it's about you. Nobody else is going to add into your pot. Nobody else is going to supply you with the outcome. You have to create it. So whatever you're going through right now, Aquarius, understand that it is from your own doing. It is of your own making. So if you're experiencing joy, if you're experiencing happiness, you created that. But on the other side, on the flip side of the coin, if you're experiencing difficulties, challenges, and, and um, you know, complications, you created that for yourself. So creator alchemy means that you are in control of your own life, your own circumstance, your own situations. Nobody else is going to change it. Nobody else is going to do anything except you. All right. So that's your theme for the month. We're not going to go into, we're going to start at this top row here. And these three cards across the top are going to give us insight into three specific areas of your life. And then we will look at these two cards across the bottom at the end. So starting Aquarius with your emotional self. So on an emotional level, what do you need to know? What do you need to be aware of during the month of October? And we have the Knight of Cups. I love the Knight of Cups. Such a beautiful card. I, I'm, I'm going to say that about all the cards because <laughs> this, this deck is just really gorgeous. The Knight of Cups. So what we've got here is we have got a lotus flower, which has worked through or grown through the mud, through the difficulties, through the challenges. It's arrived at the water surface and it's opened up. It's blossomed beautifully. And in the core of that, here we have this beautiful lady. She's holding on a heart. OK, and she's got that heart. She's using it as a guitar and she is creating or playing sweet music. What this is basically saying to you on an emotional level. Aquarius for the month of October. You have the ability to create music. You have the ability to make such a beautiful sound with your heart, with your emotions, with your love. But it's about recognizing and acknowledging the pain that you've already been through. We talk about the pain that you've already been through because of the lotus flower having come through the mud, having grown through the murkiest of waters, the most difficult of circumstances. And once we've achieved that, then it's just, it's bliss, it's harmony, it's beautiful. But it's also about recognizing that you did this, okay? You were able to grow and to come out of the dark, darkness, out of the difficulties, and to be able to play the sweet music. So on an emotional level, Aquarius, this is Spirit saying to you that, Let's focus on playing the sweet music. Let's not focus on the challenge that you've been through, the difficulties that you've been through. Let's not focus on that. Let's rather put our heart and our soul and our focus into what you're able to do here and now because you are through the challenges, because you've come out the other side. Okay, so that is going to be your focus on an emotional place in the month of October. It's about recognizing what you're able to do now because of the challenges and the difficulties and the hardships that you've already endured. OK, we're now going to look at this card, which is going to give you insight into your career, your work and your finances for the month ahead. So financially, what's in store for you? Oh, my gosh, this card is haunting Tariscopes for October. <laughs> Page of Pentacles has appeared so often okay page of pentacles has come through so in so many readings this month it is just actually quite mind-blowing what the page of pentacles is saying to you aquarius so i think it's the first time it's appeared here with regards to finances but it's appeared there a lot and it's appeared there a lot page of pentacles aquarius is basically saying to you you're trying your best you're doing your best you're putting yourself out there you are trying to tend nurture and to take care of the flower in the best way that you can, but you're not convinced that you're doing enough. You're not convinced that you're able to do the things that you've set out to do. It's almost like you're questioning yourself a little bit, questioning your abilities a little bit. And I remember going back to your theme, what we have here, Aquarius, this is Spirit saying to you, 
if you question yourself, you're putting yourself already in a negative place. If you doubt yourself, if you doubt your abilities, if you doubt, if you doubt what you're able to do, you are manifesting that doubt into reality. The fact that we have this creator alchemy here is Spirit's way of saying to you, if you believe in yourself, if you believe in your abilities, if you believe in your ability to use that watering can to nurture the, the flower, to, to give love and nourishment to the plant, to the flower, you will be able to appreciate it, enjoy it a lot more. So you need to trust and believe in yourself, believe in what you're able to create, what, you, what you're able to manifest. Don't let self-doubt drive you, because if you allow self-doubt to influence you when it comes to work, career, and finances, that doubt will manifest into truth, and you will fail, okay? So I know that's a like a really harsh way of putting it, but it's, it's the truth. It's the absolute gospel truth. Aquarius spirits are saying to you, you've got to believe in you, believe in your abilities, believe in what you're capable of producing, what you're capable of doing. Recognize that whatever you're thinking, so if you're doubting yourself, that doubt becomes truth. If you believe in yourself, that belief becomes truth. So career-wise, work-wise, financially, you can achieve many things. You can achieve greatness if you believe in yourself and if you put the right effort in. You cannot sit on the couch watching TV and expect to earn you know, all the money in the world. You need to be doing the work in order to receive the rewards. And creator alchemy is basically saying to you that you can. That you can. You have the power and the potential to do this. All you've got to do is believe in yourself and actually climb up onto those leaves in order to reach the flower to achieve the things that are necessary while playing sweet music. <laughs> All right. What we're now going to do, Aquarius, is to look at this card over here, which has got to do with your health and well-being, your physical body. What does spirit need you to know? What is significant and important with regards to your physical being during the month of October? And what we have here is the Five of Swords. Five of Swords has not made an appearance this month. So, so quite interesting that it's come through. Let's just look at the card. So we've got a lady standing here. Her shadow self is a masculine energy with a broken heart, okay? Made of, looks like it's almost made of concrete and it's cracked through on the heart space. She's hiding her true self. Okay, she's hiding her true self because she fears rejection. She fears the hurt, the pain, and the discomfort. This is saying to you that you are your own worst enemy when it comes to your physical body. You are avoiding hiding or not acknowledging that which you truly are or whatever's going on. So on a physical level, I think it's time that we looked in a mirror. I think it's time that we stopped all activity, looked in a mirror, and asked ourselves, who are we? What are we? What are we doing? And are we happy with that? Are we happy with the outcome of our efforts and of our activities? Because remember, whatever you're thinking, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're doing is what's creating your reality. I actually want to just bring this closer because I feel like I want to show you what's going on over here. So you can see that she's put on quite a brave face. She's feeling quite confident. She's feeling quite secure of herself. This flower that she holds, it's larger than life, but it's also a, a symbol of purity a symbol of, um, you know, her innocence, if I can put it that way, but it's a mask that she's wearing. The truth is, she is this masculine energy, heartless, okay, absolutely heartless. You can see it looks like made out of concrete, and the concrete is all cracked and broken, and you can see when we look into the heart space that it's empty, all right? So Aquarius, really, this is spirit saying to you, it's time to be honest with yourself. It's time to remove those masks. And to be completely honest with yourself with regards to your physical, are you actually happy with where you're at physically? Or is there is there a little bit of discomfort? Is there a little bit of unhappiness? And understand that you are the only one who can fix it, who can change it, and who can control it. So you have to step up to the plate for yourself. You have to recognize the shortcomings and the fact that you're pretending. Okay, that there's this mask on, you are the one that has to make the changes. The Five of Swords is saying to you that, you know, if you if you don't face the truth, face the facts, you're going to come off second best. So, absolutely time to be truthful with yourself. You don't have to tell anybody. 
You don't have to share it with anybody. You can keep it all very much to yourself. But I think it's time to stop being a little bit more honest with yourself about who you are and about what's going on and recognize that you are the only one who can change this. Alrighty. Okay. So Aquarius, we have got two cards left across the bottom here. And these two cards are what you need to embrace during the month and what you need to be mindful of or be careful of during the month. So let's have a look. What, what energy should you be embracing during the month of October 2021? We have got the Hermit card. Oh, that is so interesting. So the Hermit card is a Major Arcana card. And here we have this lady. She is a um, little bit of a mermaid. <laughs> and she is sitting at the top of a tower. She has a little fishing fishing rope with her, a fishing, a fishing rod. And she is fishing for energy, fishing for light. But she's doing everything alone. She's doing everything in solitude, if I can put it that way. Okay? She's not really being mindful of the fact that there are other people around her. There's two other ships. You can see the angle of the earth here. There's two other ships around there with her. And um, she could ask for help if she needed. She could reach out to people. But she's choosing to be on her own. She's choosing to be self-reflective. And this is something that you need to embrace this month. And I do think it's tying into these two cards really, really carefully. We are a little bit insecure. We're not really feeling as, as confident as we should. Um, we know how to sing a tune. We know how to put on a brave face. We know how to pretend, okay, especially when it comes to our emotions. But Aquarius, it's time that we face hard truths about ourselves. And I think this is what she's doing. So Spirit is saying, spend a bit more time on your own. Recognize that you are better off on your own than handing your problems and your challenges and your situations over to others. Remember, you are the creator. You are the creator of your own alchemy. And you need to start trusting and believing in yourself. So this is what you need to embrace in order to repair everything that's going on, including this. We're going to have a look at this card over here now, Aquarius. And this is what you need to be mindful of or what you need to be cautious of during the next month. Let's have a look and see what we've got there. We have got the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands, here she sits with a book, a book of knowledge, a book of inspiration, a book of a book of hope, a book of dreams, okay? And she's opened the book and this huge big flower, and it's actually the same flower as what we have over there. This huge big flower has opened up and revealed itself. And it talks about your dreams, your inspirations being bigger than life. This is what to be mindful of. This is what to be careful of. And looking at these two cards and bringing this one into it, I think, Aquarius, this is Spirit saying to you, don't let your dreams and your ambitions and the things that you want to do be bigger than is necessary. Because when things are bigger than is necessary, you, you get super critical of yourself, you get super hard on yourself, and you set yourself up for failure. So let's be a little bit more open, a little bit more realistic. Let's not give too much energy to our big pipe dreams. Let's be more honest and real about who you are and recognize that you are just one person. You are just one person. You cannot do everything. You can actually, but you shouldn't have to. Let's focus more on the self. Let's focus more on um, on who and what you are individually so that we can achieve the things that we need to. All right. I'm not done with you yet, Aquarius, because I now have um, an Oracle deck, which is the Oracle deck that belongs to this tarot deck. And I want to grab a card from, oopsie, from this Oracle deck to understand these two a little bit more. So when I'm shuffling this, we're asking Spirit to give a little bit more guidance, a little bit more inspiration around what it is that you need to embrace and what it is that you need to be mindful of during the month of October for all Aquarius energy. Okay, we're going to take that card over there. Let's have a look and see what we've got. We have got the Red Garden. Okay, now I'm going to bring it closer so that you can see. Look how fabulous she is. She is human, but she's also a plant. She's also a flower. She blends into her surroundings. She blends into the Red Garden. And sometimes you wonder, like, you know, is is are we seeing her for who she is? Or is she the garden? Or is she human? What What is she? But it's about transparency, because you can see that there's transparency. And then there's about the beauty of the garden itself and it's about fitting in everywhere 
okay because that's the way that i'm getting it so let's if we have a look at this red garden we've got the hermit and the hermit is about solitude it's about recognizing that you are the only person that you can rely on you are the only person that you need you can create your own reality your own existence but you can't do that on your own by yourself all the time you need to blend you need to fit in you need to connect with other people so your dreams, your ambitions, your desires that you have, they are larger than life. They are really big. And Spirit doesn't want you to give up on that. But Spirit is saying, let's be, let's be more realistic in the here and the now with what you can and what you can't do, what you should be focusing on and what you shouldn't be focusing on. Let's not throw our, ourselves into that situation completely. Let's not set our dreams so big that we're setting ourselves up for failure. Let's just be a little bit more honest with regards to what we can create and what we have control over and to be blended with our desires and our physical with our needs our wants our desires and our actions okay so it's about finding that middle ground it's about the blending in and the joining all parts of your life into one and i do think the creator alchemy card as your theme for the month is really appropriate it fits in so beautifully and Aquarius, this is basically saying to you that you are the master of your own destiny. You are the one who can decide who you are, what you are, when you are. But you have to make those decisions. Nobody's going to do that for you. You have to do it. And if you allow yourself to get carried away in your dreams, you're setting yourself up for failure. All right. So Aquarius, it looks like the month of October is going to be very interesting for you indeed. I do hope that you enjoy. I do hope that this reading helps you navigate all that you need to as always with love and blessings from my heart to yours until we connect again take care